Hello guys, hope you are doing great. I'm Sampath. Today I'm going to show you how to collect recently funded companies information along with that company's decision makers email information also. If you are providing any B2B services, then definitely these are high targeted prospects for your services because definitely these people are trying to expand their business and trying to grow their business. I will show you exactly how to collect all this information, which tools we need access, which tools uh, we need to use for collecting all this information. So or if you want me to do all this work, I will update each and every day work, each and every day funded company. So if you want regular updates with all this information, you can directly reach out to me. I'm mentioning my contact details in the description box. Not only this, if you are looking for any kind of B2B data services, like a B2B information based on industry, location, job roles, or employee size, or local business information, or like a targeted investors information, or like any social media influencers information uh, based on like that company followers, that company uh, particular account needs, their followers, their location, or like Instagram competitors, followers, email ID scrapping or like a hashtag public inform, public email ID scrapping, anything like this, B2B email list, or like a, any kind of web scrapping services, you can directly reach out to me. I'm mentioning my contact details in the description box. You can directly reach out to me through WhatsApp also. Uh, so coming to the point, like uh, here, to, now I'm gonna show you how to collect all this information, each and everything. So for this, first we need Crunchbase Pro Access. See, already I have subscribed to Crunchbase Pro. So we need Crunchbase Pro. So using this Crunchbase Pro only, we are going to find targeted companies. See, first, after opening this Crunchbase, I'm going to the companies. Once I click companies, then here we can have a chance of same folder. Uh, like once I go to the companies, then here we can have a chance to see all the filters like based on keywords, headquarters, industry, we can have a chance to uh, select targeted information. Like uh, here, what I'm doing is like, I'm going to click financials, then I'm clicking past 30 days. See, we can have a chance to collect uh, uh, information by industry, by location also, by employee size also. Like here, I just clicked here uh, past 30 days. Then here I have a chance to see 3,529 something. So what I need is I need more specific. Like uh, for example, I need at least $1 uh, recently funded. See if I click like this, maybe we can have a chance to filter something. So that's why I clicked like that. So now we can have a chance to see 2,660 something. What I'm gonna do is now I'm just clicking here uh, see, clicking here, filter by descending order. If I click like that, then we can have a chance to see most recent companies. See here, after I am applying, so here I can have a chance to see all the information here, like industry, location, description, like company, social media profiles, company email ID, and all the information we can have a chance to see. See, now we have here, uh, companies which got most recently funded. Like here already we have few companies updated. See now date is here September 20, September 20. See, I will update on my Excel sheet every day details. Like if some company got uh, funded yesterday, I will update today only all this information. Because so for collecting 2,600 companies information, once it will be difficult. That's why I collect day by day information. See, what I'm doing is like, I'm just selecting all these companies, okay? So here we can have a chance to select 1,000 at a time. I'm just selecting here. Once I select, I'm ex exporting to CSV. So after exporting to CSV, we can have a chance to see information like this. We have organization name, organization, how much organization got funded, funding date, uh, Every information here, found, uh, the company found, found, uh, founding date also, like industry description, like contact email, the company email, company social media profiles, actually hiring or not, how many founders that company have, 
we have a chance to see each and every information. Now we have this company's information. Now we need this company decision makers information. So this is the key point here. Now I'm going to show you how to collect that company decision makers also. So here, what I'm doing is like here, I'm just adding few columns. Okay. I simply show you like one or two, how I do collect. Say here, uh, what's some name? Job title. Here, okay, LinkedIn, we will add a LinkedIn URL also. LinkedIn URL. And we need mainly email ID. Verified email ID we need. I, I do collect only verified email IDs. Okay, so here we have company name, right? So what I'm gonna do is like first I'm opening that company LinkedIn profile and website. LinkedIn profile and website. Sorry, uh, I've opened wrong one. I have opened second one. So here, what I'm doing is I have opened first one, first website also. So now here we have company's information. We need decision makers, like mainly the company founder or co-founder or main CT, uh, C, C, FO or CIO, something like that. See here, I'm just going to, this is company LinkedIn profile. I'm going to click people, okay? So once I click people, we have a chance to see employees who are working in that company. Now we have this person, okay? Looks like this person is the targeted person. I'm opening this profile. Once I open this profile, I can see what is her job in the company. See, we can have a chance to see, see CEO and co-founder. This is the exact profile we need. This type of profiles we need exactly. See, what I'm gonna do is like, I will collect her information. Okay. So what I'm, I'm collecting her LinkedIn URL. See, she is the right targeted prospect, actually. See, I'm collecting her plus LinkedIn URL and uh, name, job title, and all information, whatever the information we need. See you. Or like normally what I do is how oh, I add job role is like I will copy this and I will add here. Now we have her information. We need now we need her email ID, right? See so what we need to do is I use multiple tools for finding email IDs like Tomba.io, uh, find that lead, Apollo, Sales Quill, Lead Leaper. Semblance.ia. All these tools I use for finding email IDs because make sure I need to find right verified email ID. So once I find this email IDs, I do verify also. Like here, I will show you this. So I will open on Semblance. Semblance, I can have a chance to see. So we have her personal email ID. We don't need personal, we need professional. Okay, so what we are going to do is I will check on Apollo. Make sure I will check in one or two websites. Here we have email ID. So what I'm gonna do is, so I will verify this email ID now. Once I collected this email ID, make sure I need to know this email ID is valid or not. Also it's valid, yes. This is the perfect email ID we need. So now I'm adding this email ID here. See, if we want more profiles from this company also, we can collect more profiles. If we can check, we will get to know. So what are the uh, other exact profiles? So like what I do is I, I prefer to add one or two profiles. So due to the time duration, I'm just collecting here only one. 
So next same process, like uh, we have finished one, then we can go to second one. So with the same process, we are going to collect second company decision maker information also. Like here we have writer. Okay. So this company, I'm just open this company information again. So LinkedIn URL mainly. Then after website we need. Now I'm just opening this profile LinkedIn URL. So I'm gonna click people. Once I click people, then I might have a chance to see that company employees. One cyclic people, right. One cyclic people, then we have a chance to see all the employees as seen. See here, we have a couple of people here. There are a lot of employees here. Make sure we need right employee. So for that, what we do is like, we will use this tool help or like we can use crunch base like if you can open crunch press URL also, like we can have a chance to see that company's decision makers there directly. Right here, we need people. So two employees profiles. See here we have two employees profiles. Here we have interim CEO for or co-founder and CTO. This is the right profile. CTO and there some other job role, co-founder and CTO. This is definitely the right target profile. See, what I'm gonna do is I'm collecting this profile information now. This is how this works. So it looks like easy, but it will take a lot of time for doing research and all. See, that's why what I prefer is like, I will collect day-to-day -day information. So because if I collect day-to-day -day information, it won't take much time. So I will finish hardly in two hours like that. So then, then after next day, then again, whatever the companies, then I can focus on those companies. So if I work on thousand companies at a time, that is really hard actually. So for anyone, it might might need two, three, two, two, three people. They might need all this knowledge. Uh, so I'm adding job role also here. adding person job role and we need a person uh, email id so we need to find out person email id so make sure we need right email id so writer so this is not the right email id so we will check it on some other tool so here we don't have any email id here we will check it here So here we have the right email ID. So what we are going to do is we will copy all this, both the email IDs and we will check it, which one is good, okay? See, this is why I use multiple tools actually. So it will be very difficult to use one tool for finding right information. See, it says this is the valid one. So now I'm gonna use this one. So uh, because some sometimes one tool is enough, but some profiles we need some other tool. So now I open use two. Uh, now we use two tools for email finding tools, but I didn't able to find. So using third tool, I'm able to find uh, this person email ID. So that's why I use multiple email finding tools and email verification tool. So otherwise, if we collect uh, invalid emails, then that will go to the spam or our that will affect to our email server. So next time onwards, our, our emails might be go to spam or somewhere else. So this is how it works actually. So this is how I collect information. So I might show you simply, but I do, I do uh, more research actually for these profiles. So if I'm collecting one profile, means make sure I do check two to three times and make sure I I check person email two three two to three times. So this is how I, I work. So hopefully you will 
understand how all this works and how to collect all this information. So as I said, if you want me to do all this work, you can directly contact me. As I said, I mentioned my contact details in the uh, my video, YouTube video description box here. You can directly contact me through WhatsApp. Uh, not only this, I provide all kind of B2B data services and web scrapping services. You can reach out to me for any kind of service. So hopefully this video will helpful to you. Make sure please subscribe my YouTube channel and keep watching my videos. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video.